What's the deal, y'all? We're Trapper Tapping in TNN Trap News Network. We back with another reaction video. Y'all know the deal, man. Ah, 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 we back, man. We back. If you ain't got it cracking with this reaction, man, we in action with a reaction. You know the deal. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe for more of this content. If you ain't did that, make sure you do that, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that good content, good content. Hit that notif hit that subscribe button right there. Become a part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell right there, that notification bell right there. Hit all, stay tapped in so you can become a part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on. We giving away $50, though. I'll tell you how we do that in a second. But before we get to that, follow me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming sites rich trapper game six rich trapper worth more than money rich trapper i'm better off without you and my two singles start from scratch in the nightmare before christmas are both out now if you want to know how to win fifty dollars this is how you win fifty dollars man the best comment oh, wait the best comment for the month of january will receive a fifty dollar cash app on february 1st when we get to four thousand subscribers the top commenter will receive a fifty dollar cash app so that's two different opportunities for you to win fifty dollars if you play it right you could win you a hundo put my wallet in my pocket before i forget that and lose it but that all being said man we ain't finna hold you no longer we finna jump right into this good content we got brick baby and adam 22 on loose cannons wild accusations against big U. we finna slide into this man three two one let's go christopher love joy interview last week at the store and i knew going into it that he was gonna have some words for big U, right mm -hmm. and so we talked about it on the interview but it was realistically only like five minutes worth of the conversation was like him throwing some shots at big U. And it was pretty basic shit. It was like, you know, him basically saying that Big U got this job with the city or whatever, or he got a phone that... Public record. Yeah, he's, everybody knows about this, where he's like, you know, communicating with the city about gang stuff, and it's basically like him kind of helping to... What type of phone is it? They said it was a Blackberry. It's a Blackberry, okay. I don't know. But either way, it's like... That was really like the only main thing that Christopher Lovejoy said about Big U. Whatever. Would you believe me if I mean? Would you believe me if I told you I've never seen Big U at a BlackBerry? And would you? Hey, yeah, the BlackBerry part is wild. I never thought about it till just right now. But like, you would notice somebody with a BlackBerry. Like, if somebody pulled out a Sidekick right now, we'd be like, "What the hell, bro? You got a Sidekick? Like, that's a very distinct phone." And then in 2024, like, who still has a BlackBerry? Like, why wouldn't they have like an iPhone or an Android or something like that? That just doesn't make sense. And I don't even think they actually made. Now that I'm thinking about it out loud, BlackBerry services have actually been discontinued. So you actually can't even use a BlackBerry right now. If you think I'm lying, go Google it. Look it up. The BlackBerry company, the company that make BlackBerry, actually shut down the software so you actually can't use a blackberry at all anymore so even if you actually have a blackberry it's no good uh, it's no it's no better than a paperweight because you literally can't use it at all like the service doesn't work on the blackberry network it doesn't exist anymore so yeah I don't would you believe it yourself because I, I know you see them a couple times have you ever a blackberry is very distinct Oh, if I saw some of the BlackBerry, I'm probably not going to forget. Listen, I'm not saying that that's true. No, no, no. I'm just saying that's what he said. I just was saying, all right, go ahead. And I've heard other people say that, too, so I kind of assumed that was true, whatever. If you see a BlackBerry, you're going to be like, damn, you still got a BlackBerry? But so whatever. I did that interview, and then a couple days later, somebody hits me up, and they say, hey, I'm trying to get my boy Loose Cannon on your podcast. And one of the things that they said about it was he can talk about his issues with Big U. And I searched his name on YouTube real quick. I seen a couple of clips of him talking about Big U. And I responded to the person who was saying it. And I said, listen, he seems dope and shit, but I'm not really trying to like fully throw gas on the flames right now because I just did the 600 interview and I don't want to make it seem like I'm. Adam 22 is like, I'm not trying to get involved in none of you Negroes and you Negro them. Not trying to get involved in none of you Negroes and you Negro them. Trying to get at Big U by interviewing anybody who's got something negative to say about him especially given that like very few people have had wait, negative shit to say about him over the years right yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, wait 600 who breezy no that <laughs> christopher dude, loved that you that like, old manager. oh bro that dude that i had the conversation i just walked with. out when we walked yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. i'm like i'll be feeling i mean he was a cool nigga to me i don't he know cool. i don't know cause his but you remember you see but that's what i had had that that's what you were saying you yeah say he, yeah you can't yeah, really yeah, fuck with him yeah, on that type of yeah, vibe yeah, but he from 602 yeah oh so i mean that's it yeah that's like you get, but i couldn't show no internal in front of y'all i mean i had to my homie it's oh, I didn't know that's. I didn't know that's what he was going in there to yeah, do. Yeah, that's why you say you can't fuck with him yeah, because I didn't. I didn't know that. I it didn't wasn't know was like a big U related interview. It was like that was one thing he talked about. But he got about to popping like, his shit you know. and put money on the table. 
Yeah, right. that is true. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about yeah, that part because yeah, yeah. he's saying like Big U challenged him to a boxing match, so he's like, boom, here's the money. I'll, oh, I'll that's do it. what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't yeah. challenge now. Oh, let me tell you about a. He said Big older, U came uh, up with the idea. I don't know. OG homies or OG niggas. You don't Talk. challenge no OG nigga to know. My daddy used Talk to say to when he was good. 50 years old, my daddy say, nigga, I'm half a hundred. I ain't finna play with no young niggas to him, or play with no niggas. You think you finna whoop on me? Cool. You young, you ready, you. I'm gonna put you down. The niggas ain't playing. I'm not saying this with Big U saying the cup. Nah, but, but <laughs> nigga ain't finna. Ain't no old nigga finna trade. It's like like a nigga even when people say I was beefing with Trady, Trady ain't finna play with me. Me, that's like me saying me and Trady finna get in. Yeah, Trady not I finna mean, get in with me. Yeah, yeah. he finna be like, and Trady, he still, still, still worked out. He, but yeah, he know me. I'm yeah. at one point I was this young nigga. At one yeah, point we. Yeah. Hey, D W Flame is making a good point, man. That man said I'm half a hundred years old. You think I'm finna get into a scuffly, wuffly, tussly, wussly with you? Now this is what I will say, Big. You will probably put head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes on Officer Snitch Honey, Snitch Honey, not Six Honey, Snitch Honey. You probably will put head, shoulders, knees and toes on that man. However. D.W. Flame is just saying, in general, you come around playing with them old dudes, man. Them old dudes play a different game, and they might play a game that might be a little bit more for keeps, big dog. So you might want to chill with that. Yeah. He know the truth about, I'm business, really one of them because yeah, yeah, cuz yeah, from yeah, this ain't yeah, for yeah. real. But like a 20-year-old beefing with a 50-year-old. He the, ain't finna play, come in no okay, ring and play with you unless he Mike Tyson, yeah? Uh, that's okay. it. That's like... His son, he put Kevin you to M. sleep, nigga. Or not good. I don't said. know about that situation. I'm saying if yeah. I was an old nigga, young nigga popping, I'll put you up. I, I'll put you up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, right now, I'll yeah, put you up there. So, yeah. man, I'm 50. I'm yeah, really not, on, I'm really not finna like, play. Mm. So he like, not finna play with cuz. Yeah, at the end of the day, that's like your son coming to you saying some crazy shit. Like, yeah, boy, like, nigga, nigga so you even my you son ain't finna come play with me. You see what Marvin Gaye daddy did. Mm. So yeah, I just brought play. you in, and I take you. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm not, I'm not promoting that, but it's yeah. like you know, you, know, you respect. Your ain't no older nigga reason. finna play with you. It, it, Fifty it. and plus ain't finna play with you. Forty five plus the homies that my older homies who like nigga, I'm thirty nine. Mm. They finna kill you, fam. <laughs> they dead of me. They not, not finna, finna catch no with fade with you. Mm. Why? Thirty nine's too old. Yeah, and they ain't finna lose no teeth. 36 is too. 36 mm. and up on babies. You're 36? Yeah, you should not be out here <laughs> trying to fight people, fam. Our shit ain't built the same after that age. I mean, I ain't that age yet, but I'm just saying. Come on, man. I know. I'm. Th come on. So then I turned the interview down. I said, like, I might be down at some point, but let's just space it out because I don't want to be doing the 600 interview and then this other interview right side by side, which is obviously what ended up happening. But so. So the person that called you, let's get into that. Let's start there. Was he, it just a random? Oh, uh, it's a guy somebody? I know, but it's not like a game member or nothing. It's just like a okay. Oh, dude, because no, I'm doing thought, content. I thought the guy that he came with was the one that reached out. With you. But go ahead. Okay, so we do that the 600 thing. Then Whack hits me up a couple days later. Says, "Hey, when we do the podcast in a couple days, I'm gonna bring the dude Loose Cannon." Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, this is our podcast together. If you want to do it, cool. And I'm thinking that if he's gonna say anything about Big U, it's probably gonna be like. The shit that the 600, 600 said, shit. which is like not really the craziest yeah, shit ever, right? Yeah, like so I'm like, whatever, let's have him on. And he's br and he's bringing his girl too, and they they on the girl, TV, whatever. So I'm like, all right, more cool. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I was watching y'all. I'm like, cause Wack was playing with Cuz and his girl. You might not never get to play with me and my girl like at the same time, man. Cause like, yeah, but I heard he was good with her. Like, yeah, yeah. he fucking up his whole relationship. Like he's saying, oh, black trying to get better health. Playing in the man's face, playing with his girl in his face. How you let a nigga play with your wife in your face? He Adam 22 you. Then her tell us who get better at, like, you know, that's whack though. Like, he's like always so trying to cold. If you Apparently, look at they face, got that like kind this, of relationship. They got a cool relationship where Every they could time. joke around about that. Cool, but a lot of people left that comment of like, right. hey, no. "Why was Wack acting what? that crazy to him?" Nah, it's that, that you can't play with my bitch. That too, boy, me. that boy ain't got no brain of himself. He's a peanut. He's he he he's, he knew. he's wax he minion. Knew? He huh? His daddy was a, his, his daddy, daddy was from uh, over there. Nah, his daddy was a snitch. I'm saying, but his daddy was from over there. His daddy, his daddy from the IE, and you have know said. 
he got selected because he was a group. He hanging out around that motherfucker. Like, come on, we gonna take the IE uh, nigga, man. Send him. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, but we we go there. Yeah, loose cannon daddy just snitched on little fee. Damn, who? Love, he sound like me. He sound like me three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, What'd you yeah, say? Yeah, man. Who's Lil When they said I was too drunk. Let's fill in the blanks. Who's that? Listen, Lil Fee is my big hubby that's on death row. Lil Fee is an absolute Rolling 60 legend. Legend. Big shout out to Lil Fee. Uh, he known... Uh, say it without because saying... Because of the, to the Tookie situation... Oh yeah, no, yeah. Everybody knows about the the the, the case. Everybody in L. A. knows about. I gotta the, do my Google. The L. A. Rams player, whatever the case is. Okay. That happened. Uh, he's innocent. Hopefully he comes home. So I'm gonna just go there. You know what I'm saying? All right. So he, but he's known. Everybody knows him because he's been on death row for years. He's so kind of one. Of an interesting story. It was a very interesting case. I ain't gonna go too deep into it because I'm not too aware of it. But I know that it has something to do with a, an attempted robbery against an L.A. Rams player that uh, somebody ended up deceased, and that is why Lil Fee is now on death row. However, what made him a legend is his interaction with Tukey Williams. If you know who Tukey Williams is, you know, you do. If you don't, you don't. Don't worry about it. But I'm, I'm going to let Bray Baby go into it. Go ahead. Let's go. Main dudes in the, in, in the penitentiary okay. when it comes to having reputable names. Him and Tukey had an altercation where Tukey wrote about it in his book where he stabbed him and Tukey didn't want to go get any revenge because he felt like if he ever hurt a crip, it's like committing suicide on the gang. You know, Tukey really stood for whatever. But that's where he feet. But Loose Cannon's dad told on. So basically Lil Fee stabbed up Tukey Williams, basically. Yeah. Okay, we can do our Googles Luke, on that. Who's Ken yeah. and Daddy is the nigga who told on him? Yeah. That's what you say. Most famous snitch. Most famous snitch. Fo that's most famous snitch. I'm not a little, little. Once again, dude. Because I, because I be and the offspring of the most famous snitch is absolutely internally wild. Saying it. When the nigga said it, I'm saying it. But I'm not saying it. I don't know who I don't know who Cud Daddy is. But just looking at even how Cud was talking, a lot of shit that he was saying doesn't sound legitimate and we could always hold court you know i hold court with the crib I, I treated loose cannon the same way that i'm treating you right now where he's got some explosive ass shit to say and it's like the same way you're talking about his dad being a cinch whatever it's like if i don't know but i invited you uh, on you this podcast talk. yeah yeah i'm gonna let you say it yeah it is what it is like yeah. i'm gonna try these to like facts. defend it but That's what can i really job. say you know facts. yeah these are facts at first your and foremost job. You can defend it, but then it's like he was up his whole play. It's like, like, where did you come from? Who put you on? Why okay. are you even talking so, 60 business on this show? Let me speed run the controversial yeah, yeah. things that he said yeah, on that do episode. That. Do that. The speed run version. He said some of the same snitch type shit that fucking uh, 600 was trying to get across. He told a very dramatic story about... Uh, the death of Nipsey Hussle that I'm sure we're going to get into. And then I feel like the other main thing that was very controversial from our perspective. I have never seen Adam 22 so carefully nitpick through a situation to make sure he don't say nothing that's going to get him fucked up. I can respect it. There was also some shit about Shaq's ex-wife or some shit that I'm not even like, I don't know who the fuck these people are, so I can't even really yeah, dig into that. Was, but I did notice that, that somebody yeah, with the crib somebody too. cut a fucking yeah, yeah. Instagram reel of that shit that got like 5 million views right now, so apparently that is a very important clip that I totally did not know was an important yeah, clip. She's a uh, basketball wife. I fuck with hey, Shaq, though. I know very I little about the, the basketball wives universe, whatever. Yeah. But then, the oh yeah, and the final thing that was shocking and I have not spoken to Ralphie about this, but he had some claims about Ralphie and how, when Draco died, whatever. It's like, that that was even, to me, I was that hits closer to home because it's more like, Lil those Earl. are people that I'm like real good friends with and shit versus like the big you thing. I know big you and shit, yeah. but it's like, I can't really, but do you, you know. Do you, do you know, did he ever get into it? Cause I seen that part, but I kind of was already over him. After I, already, I didn't get to the end of it. Did he ever tell why he was mad? At Ralphie? Yeah. Not was it over the Draco thing only? Because he's like a similar thing with Draco. Isn't that how he got it? If there's it? more shit, it sounds like you're mad because Ralphie might not have wanted to do a song with you from from what Brick Baby's alluding to. Let's see about why he wanted to air Ralphie out. He didn't really get into it. He just basically like called Ralphie out and just like so said what he had to say about. He it. got a song with Draco that we didn't let get that we didn't let come out. Well, it is out. It's on her YouTube channel, but that shit. 
Yeah, but that's a it, weird one. But it's not on Spotify. It's okay. Not, it's been snatched. The state doesn't agree with it. Okay. It, we don't know where you came from. Definitely not the best Draco song or video or verse or whatever. I could understand mm -hmm. why his family would not necessarily want that to be. But, I mean, he probably paid for it before he died, right? Body got paid he for paid, it? He paid for what he paid for. Now you got to get it clear. You should have dropped it then. Now mm. the prices are different. Everything's mm. a little bit different. You held on to oh, that yeah. music. So now for the clearance, you're going to have to do something else. You didn't. You was, you are not in business savvy when it came to that. You came with that chip and handed it to him. We don't know what happened. Right. We don't know if he did pay for it or not. But what I'm saying is, I don't think the estate. So... Basically, you mad at Ralphie because your Draco song never came out, got you. Fucks with mystery people. Right. When the state calls around and like, hey, who is he? Like, drop the song, da, 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 da. It's like, right. yeah, yeah, we gonna pull it back off of that. So, yeah, that uh, came out. And obviously, like, you're the closest link that I have to Big U, for the most part, that I talk to on a regular basis. And a big part of what he was talking about reflects directly on... Eric, aka Shitty Cuz, um, basically weaving a, a whole web of this crazy ass story where Big U was, uh, you know, aware of what was going to happen in Nipsey beforehand. And we had a conversation about it yesterday that within like five minutes, you really kind of drew attention to the fact that this is kind of outlandish, right? Because Super outlandish. why would Big U, who obviously is at the top of the fucking pyramid, why would he even necessarily be in communication with, with Eric. your little homie with, about with, with, with baby, making yeah. something like that happen? It seems very unlikely. But he was not, he was talking about it as if this was fact. Like, like he didn't like you know. I can almost guarantee you a hundred percent. That's that's a lot and I don't even really like digging into uh but since it's just so public and it sounds so terrible, uh, I gotta speak for you, I gotta speak on this. Mm. And this is just that. He's never met Eric a day in his life. Right. A day in his life. Well, we knew that when he said that Eric Holder was 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, He's definitely not that short, but let's keep going. Hey, when he came home, he might have been around Eric maybe at when it's 100, 200 people outside, maybe. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, a, like a, a regular introduction right, to, 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 that's never happened before. Right. Ever in life. Second of all, Eric never fought Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. It was never a fight. Why does the world just now hearing this three years later? So nobody, not even Cowboys going to say it. Mm. And, and you know, like, that's a person that I don't even like. But now we're going off of facts as somebody that was with him for the last two weeks. I don't even have nothing bad to say about Cowboy right now because I'm, I'm speaking about this, right? Mm -hmm. Not You haven't heard the story from Cowboy. You never heard the story from any person that was around Nipsey that has been taking interviews. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's never been in any paperwork. You think that with all the telling that was going on, that that wouldn't be a part of a motive to a, a killing? Mm. Then you say the guy's 5'5". Five, five. Who's gonna, you've never met this guy in your life. This dude's six feet. Mm. They got him at 5'10". Just go ahead and look him up. You said he's 5'5", five, five, is scrawny, and Nip beat him up and all of this shit. Like, Either way it goes, I feel like that he's getting stories from everybody because the only short guy named Shitty that ever fought Nipsey was me. Mm -hmm. And it definitely wasn't a week prior I was in jail. You fought and Nipsey in what year? This was 2014. Oh, shit, okay. Not going to have a couple my bad job. My phone rang. But, um, yeah, the story about Brick Baby fighting Nip. That's always been like a wobbler, so I ain't really finna get into that. If you know more than I do, go ahead and leave a comment, but we finna get back into it. Two, one, let's go. 2014. Many years before he passed. Yeah. Way, we were friends. We, friends catch phase time to time, and I never go in detail about that. Friends do catch phase from time to time. I caught a couple phase with a couple of my friends. Fight, you never find out who won, who lost, who, what happened, blow for blow. Like, mm -hmm. I hate that it happened. And now he, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I never even had a fight with him. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit weighs heavy on me. And then it, it weighs heavier on me when people talk about this situation and you're bringing up a situation that's so close to home to me. This dude with my name and all that, you don't know what type of problems. Like, that just stirs thing, the pot you know, one more time. Like, one thing that that's all bad is in the hood, motherfuckers, 
I can listen to him tell the story, right? Or tell a story about how he fought Nipsey. And it's the niggas in the set who really would take that story like it's them. Mm -hmm. Now I don't like Nipsey because the way you talked about him yeah. or he talked about him. Yeah. And I really think that about him now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to find a reason to. It's a lot of niggas who want to find reasons to say certain niggas, even yeah. us. Yeah. Like, I fought a nigga from 20s before. And it's a nigga like, yeah, cuz when I got down, ooh, now all the niggas over there thinking that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then I got real cool. I got cousins and all that over there who know yeah. the truth. Yeah. Who know that'll never go down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's niggas who live with that story in their head, like him. I'm hey, that's true, man. It's too many times that people allow uh, the opinions and the outlooks of other people to make that their judgments. Learn people for yourself, man. You never know what this person and another person got going on that led into the scenario that they in. Now, sometimes it's true. You can see the fire in front of you and you watch somebody get burned. Don't get burned yourself. But when it just comes to a story about somebody who you never met or had no interactions with, make your own judgment call. Don't call yourself out here liking people or not liking people based upon, you know, the opinions and thoughts of others. Be real with you. Me just looking at the nigga. I'll be in there with, I've been in there with 60s, Hoovers, nigga, 20s, 80s, nigga, fucking Long all the blood gangs coke, in the uh, world. Long live Coke 5. Uh, shout out my yeah, nigga Coke from uh, 6 out. Uh, that's who died a talking. long time ago. I'm really in there thugging a long time my ago. Kid. You know what I'm saying? But niggas who will live about a story like even with you, Adam, it's people who ain't met you, but think you this and think you that right. because they heard what somebody said about you. Somebody might have said you gay for real. Yeah, yeah, like nigga, and he be doing this. I seen him doing this. <laughs> exactly. And now they telling the story like they seen you did that. Drake baby smoking a Newport cigarette indoors with no windows open. That close to DW Flame and Adam Twenty Two is absolutely really cumulus. Indoor cigarette smoke is crazy. Hey. What the fuck are you talking about? That's the most outrageous thing about this whole video is him lighting up a Newport inside. Champ. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that was that was wild, you know, because I'm I'm kind of sitting there and hearing these accusations. And the, the other thing that was like a detail that he said that I believe deserves to be questioned publicly is like he was describing the surveillance tapes of what actually happened with Nipsey. We all seen that shit. And Everybody he lied. He it's been he a long time. To the alley, and then he came Nobody back. Went to yeah. the alley and came back. There was there wasn't any like back, and then like oh, it seemed like he like was on the phone like, or doing whatever. Yeah, and, they go ahead. Like, and I'm not calling him a liar or nothing, but I'm just saying that like I wish. In hey, be careful with Adam Twenty Two, man, because he sat there and let Loose Cannon get all that off, and now he's sitting with Brick Baby. Like, well, I think he might be a liar. A moment that I had been more prepared to be able to be like, well, how does that make sense? Yeah, like. Who told Street Gang that? TV has a full documentary of the last 20 minutes of mm. Nipsey's life. Shout out to Street Gang. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it shows without any camera being glitched, any of that shit, it shows everything that happened. Mm. Bro, the man never ran to the alley, came back. Oh, that wasn't good enough? Like, what? So what do you think the motivation might have been for Loose oh. Cannon to come out and... Hey, this makes Loose Cannon look crazy. The more I think about this, to make up such an intricate lie, bro, you're sick. You need to go see the lady. You need to go see the lady. And bro. have stories like this. Well, bro. that's sick. I just, he just goofy. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, on dead who sits here and tells a story like you sat around somebody with some guns that had 20 guns and watched them write every serial number down in the name and you sat there the whole time? Like, I would have seen that shit happen one that, time. Though? Yeah, and why would you say it on a platform? And that was another reason it was kind of shocking is because it's, it's like, damn, if that's true, like, holy you're shit, you're putting everything out there on Front Street. Yeah, like, and it's not, but it's like, you you talk about he wrote down the serial number and he he probably turned that shit in. Why the fuck didn't you get the fuck so you was just sitting around that police ass shit? Like if that shit happened, like come on, make some sense. You was just sitting around that police ass shit. Make it make sense. Out of it, nigga. Mm -hmm. You see somebody write down some serial number, I would have uh, walked out the house. Found out where them niggas at, was at, and say, throw them motherfuckers in the gutter, bro. This nigga just wrote down the serial number to your shit. What's your name, bro, dear, bro? I might not never watch no nigga write down the serial <laughs> number. Never. Shit. Oh, not shit, I'm never giving you none. this motherfucker right. That's real. So you sat there and watched this man write down every serial number to the gun and then the corresponding name of who the gun goes to with the person and all that kind of stuff. You sat there and watched all that. 
That's what you're telling me. And you sat there and let it happen. So and in that moment, if that's true, you was okay with police activity. You sat there and allowed it to happen. Got it. Or you're lying and that didn't happen. You a liar. You a liar, loose cannon. You a liar, loose cannon. The loose cannon has loose lips. And the loose lips think ships loose cannon. You're not doing it right, papi. No, no, no. You're not doing it right. No, no, no. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, champ, and I don't want no problems with you <laughs> at all. <laughs> look, 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 so why would you do that? Why would you come on here and say that? You get what I'm saying? Why would you admit to extorting Rick Ross? He don't know why. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. That story what? felt like it had some holes in it too, because it was just kind of like, why the the fifty k Mills life that. type shit? So I'm like, what? He, I guess he alleged. Like, it's just so weird. Like, this thing is so goofy for doing that. This is the most police shit. Like, if it was true, like, you're trying to expose somebody for being a rat while you're telling mm -hmm. everything you... Now, I could go into a full breakdown about how I call Loose Cannon a snitch and blah, blah. Brick Baby's pretty much saying anything I already said. Go back and watch my video about Loose Cannon, the whole video. You can see I broke it down and every, everything, all the holes in the story, all the flaws. But, yeah, man, it just don't make no sense. Loose Cannon is talking out the side of his neck. Know about this person in rat form, mm. and you got whack hyping you up like the whole <laughs> time. Whack oh, that playing, what you though. Said, nephew. Oh, oh, it's, it's, tell him like Adam, you told me. Why you sitting there at whack like this? <laughs> he looking at the cat. Right, whack sitting over there eating it all up because you're putting yourself on a chopping block, and you making sure it all comes out of your mouth. So you got to be accountable for your actions and your talking. And whack one hundred is going to leave you out to dry. And if you can't tell loose candy, six hundred already left you out to dry. Go look at my last little video, man. You can see that six hundred has already turned his back on you less than twenty four hours. And when he says them, yeah, I'm like he's so bullshit. So you what? See it in whack face. Whack love it. So he like it. He glad you said that. Yeah. So what was said about Meek Mill? <laughs> what was said about Meek? Mill was that Meek and Meek, my homeboy. You already know you my man. You can go check. I got a vlog from 2016 that's going crazy. But um, he said that me, they had Meek Mill surrounded at the club and told Rick Ross that we'd let him live if he dropped off 50. Uh, 50 ball. <laughs> he the 50 ball got there. That yeah. that story alone, I'm like, yeah. so you're telling me all I gotta do is tell Rick Ross we gonna kill Meek Mill unless you give us 50k, and he's just so gonna have 50k uh, sent to us. Like uh, that doesn't sound like how that normally works. That's not even how the bank work, bro. If you in a club, can't nobody get 50 ba 50 bands sent to you, bro. You, that's not even how the bank work. The bank is closed, bro. They make regular operating hours, big dog. That's not how that happened. Meek he Mill's in the strip club. Me. Oh, well, this is Rick Ross. He probably got 50000 in cash on him. You stupid if you think Rick Ross is walking around the streets of Los Angeles with 50000 in cash just on him. That's stupid. That man got security and all kind of stuff like that, bro. If you believe that, you're as stupid as uh, Loose Can is liars. <laughs> Meek Mill is in the strip club with like 10 security guards at all times, right? Not but to mention nah, whoever else ready to do something for him. People. He has Come on. It can Rick, I'm saying Rick it Ross ain't in there calling him and checking. If you were in somebody else's city, it could be that night. It'd be 30 funny cribs outside. Security don't be nothing. I mean, you saw when Meek Mill got into it with 6 9 They both had fucking security, off duty yeah. police officers security with That's them. Why if, you, ain't no yeah. size if you're as famous as Meek Mill, this, I get it. This is, yeah, of course. You need all security. kinds of exactly. shit. Right? You got to be exactly. moving militant as fuck. I don't see me going for it. That's my dog. And I, I know that he got a relationship with a couple cool L.A. dudes that I like. And that, you know what I'm saying? So cool where guys. he be straight. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to say it like he, right, right, he's right. not even one of the niggas that you could approach with all that. Right, that, right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. he's not, he, he actually is a stand up individual. He's standing on his team. I, I don't know about his gangster career. I'm not, I'm not here for that, but mm -hmm. I know him that he's like, going to be a man. Him, man. He, yeah, as a man, yeah. he's a man. All right, man, we're going to go ahead and slide up out of here, but that's Brick Baby having more words for Loose Cannon. If y'all think Loose Cannon is full of malarkey, y'all let me know, though. Either way it go, like, comment, subscribe for more of this content. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich trapper mafia. Hit that notification bell right there at the top. Hit all. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. News you can use, knowledge you can't get in college. Follow me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming platforms, Rich Trapper, Game 6. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. And my two singles start from scratch in a nightmare before before Christmas are both out now. If you're trying to figure out how you can win $100, that's $50 two different ways, go ahead and slide to the beginning of this video. I'll break it down for you.
it's easy to understand. Don't worry about it. Uh, with that all being said, though, we go on to the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more of this content. And we finna slide and we go, man. Free Avenue Angel until he's free. We out of here. My bad, y'all. My phone rang. But um, yeah, the story about Brick Baby fighting it, that's always been like a wobbler. So I ain't really finna get into that. If you know more than I do, go ahead and leave a comment. But we finna get back into it. Two, one, let's go. 2014. Many years before we passed. Way, we were friends. <laughs> Friends catch phase time to time, and I never go in detail about that. Friends do catch phase from time to time. I caught a couple phase with a couple of my friends. Fight, you never find out who won, who lost, who what happened, blow for blow. Like I hate that it happened, and now he, you know what I'm saying? Like I wish I never even had a fight with him. You get what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like that shit weighs heavy on me, and then it, it weighs heavier on me when people talk about this situation and you're bringing up situation that's so close to home to me this dude with my name and all that you don't know what type of problems like that just started one, thing, you know, one more time like one thing know, that man. that's all bad is in the hood motherfuckers i can listen to him tell the story right or tell a story about how he fought him and it's niggas in the set who really would take that story like it's them because now i don't like nipsey because the way you talked about him yeah. Or he talked about him. Yeah. And I really think that about him now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to find a reason to... It's a lot of niggas who want to find reasons to say certain niggas even yeah. us. Yeah. Like, I fought a nigga from 20s before. And it's a nigga like, yeah, because when I got down, now all the niggas over there thinking that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then I got real cool. I got cousins and all that over there who know yeah. the truth. Yeah. Who knows that'll never go down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's niggas who live with that story in their head like him. I'm and that's true, man. It's too many times that people allow uh, the opinions and the outlooks of other people to make that their judgments. Learn people for yourself, man. You never know what this person and another person got going on that led them to the scenario that they in. Now, sometimes it's true. You can see the fire in front of you and you watch somebody get burned. Don't get burned yourself. But when it just comes to a story about somebody who you never met or had no interactions with, make your own judgment call. Don't call yourself out here liking people or not liking people based upon, you know, the opinions and thoughts of others. Be real with you. Me just looking at the nigga. I'll be in there with, I've been in there with 60s, who was... Niggas who would live about a story like even with you, Adam, is people who ain't met you, but think you this and think you that right. because they heard what somebody said about you. Somebody might have said you gay for real. Yeah, yeah, right, nigga, he be doing this. I seen him doing it. Exactly. <laughs> and now they telling the story like they seen you did that. Break baby smoking a Newport cigarette indoors with no windows open. That close to DW Flame and Adam 22 is absolutely ridiculous. Indoor cigarette smoke is crazy. What the fuck are you talking about? That's the most outrageous thing about this whole video is him lighting up a Newport inside. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that was that was wild, you know, because I'm I'm kind of sitting there and hearing these accusations. And the, the other thing that was like a detail that he said that I believe deserves to be questioned publicly is like he was describing the surveillance tapes of what actually happened with Nipsey. We've all seen that shit. And he lied. It's been a long time. To the alley. And then he came Nobody back. Went to the alley and came back. There was there wasn't any like back and then like oh it seemed like he like was on the phone or doing whatever and, going, and I'm not calling him a liar or nothing but I'm just saying that like I wish in the hey be careful with Adam Twenty Two man because he sat there and let Loose Cannon get all that off and now he's sitting with Brick Baby like well I think he might be a liar. A moment that I have been more prepared to be able to be like well how does that make sense? Yeah, like. We're the Street that. Gang TV has a full documentary of the last 20 minutes of mm. Nipsey's life. Shout out to Street Gang. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it shows without any camera being glitched, any of that shit, it shows everything that happened. Bro, the man never ran to the alley, came back. Oh, that wasn't good enough? Like, what? So what do you think the motivation might have been for come loose cannon out. to come out and hey this makes loose cannon look crazy the more i think about this to make up such an intricate lie bro you're sick you need to go see the lady you need to go see the lady hey, bro, have stories like this well that's sick 
I just, he just goofy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who sits here and tells a story like you sat around somebody with some guns that had 20 guns and watched them write every serial number down in the name and you sat there the whole time? Like, I would have seen that shit happen one that, time. You know, and why would you say it on a platform? And that was another reason it was kind of shocking is because it's, it's like, damn, if that's true, like, holy you're shit, you're putting everything jail. out there on Front Street. Yeah, like, and it's not, but it's like, nigga, you talking about he wrote down the serial number and he, he probably turned that shit in. Why the fuck didn't you get the fuck so you was just sitting around that police ass shit? Like, if that shit happened, like, come on, make some sense. You was just sitting around that police ass shit. Make it make sense. Out of it, nigga. You see somebody writing down some serial number. I would have uh, walked out the house, found out where them niggas there was at, and say, throw them motherfuckers in the gutter, bro. This nigga just wrote down the serial number to your shit with your name, bro, dear, bro. I might not never watch another nigga write down the serial not number. Never. <laughs> Oh, shit, I'm never giving you done. this motherfucker right. That's real. So you sat there and watched this man write down every serial number to the gun and then the corresponding name of who the gun goes to with the person and all that kind of stuff. You sat there and watched all that. That's what you're telling me. And you sat there and let it happen? So and in that moment, if that's true, you was okay with police activity. You sat there and allowed it to happen. Got it. Or you're lying and that didn't happen. You a liar. You a liar, loose cannon. You a liar, loose cannon. The loose cannon has loose lips. You know, loose lips sink ships, loose cannon. You're not doing it right, papi. No, no, no. You're not doing it right. No, no, no. <laughs> Look, champ. And I know one of them colors with you. <laughs> At all. Look, so why would you do that? Why would you come on here and say that? You get what I'm saying? Why would you admit to extorting Rick Ross? He don't know why. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. That's where it felt like it had some holes in it too. Because I was just kind of like, why the, the 50K you, I mean, is why you do that? I don't hear that. Type shit. So like, he, what? I guess he alleged. Like, it's just so weird. Like, this thing is so goofy for doing that. This is the most police shit. Like, if it was true, like, you're trying to expose somebody for being a rat while you're telling mm -hmm. everything you... Now, I could go into a full breakdown about how I call Loose Cannon a snitch and blah, blah. Brick Baby's pretty much saying anything I already said. Go back and watch my video about Loose Cannon, the whole video. You can see I broke it down and every, everything, all the holes in the story, all the flaws. But, yeah, man, it just don't make no sense. Loose Cannon is talking out the side of his neck know about this person in rap form and you got whack hyping you up like the whole right. time well oh, that's what you said nephew oh, oh it's, it's still what you told me why you sitting there at whack like this <laughs> He looking at the right, Wax sitting over there eating it all up because you're putting yourself on a chopping block and you making sure it all comes out of your mouth so you got to be accountable for your actions and your talking and Wack 100 is going to leave you out to dry and if you can't tell Loose Cannon, 600 already left you out to dry. Go look at my last little video, man. You can see that 600 has already turned his back on you less than 24 hours. When he says them, yeah. I'm like, he's so bullshit. So what? You see it in Wack Face, Wack love it. So he like it. He glad you said that. Yeah, so what was said about Meek Mill, what was said about Meek Mill was that Meek, and Meek my homeboy, you already know, he my man, you can go check, I got a vlog from 2016 that's going crazy, but, um, he said that me, they had Meek Mill surrounded at the club and told Rick Ross that we'd let him live if he dropped off 50 and 54. He, the 50 ball got there. That, yeah. that story alone, I'm like, yeah. so you're telling me all I got to do is tell Rick Ross we're going to kill Meek Mill as you give us 50K, and he's just so going to have 50K yeah. sent to us? Like, yeah. that doesn't sound like how that normally works. That's not even how the bank work, bro. If you in a club, can't nobody get 50, ba 50 bands sent to you, bro. You, that's not even how the bank work. The bank is closed, bro. They ain't regular operating hours, big dog. That's not how that happened. Meek Mill's in the strip club. club. Oh, well, this is Rick Ross. You probably got 50000 in cash on him. You stupid if you think Rick Ross is walking around the streets of Los Angeles with 50000 in cash just on him. That's stupid. That man got security and all kind of stuff like that, bro. If you believe that, you're as stupid as a uh, loose can as lie is. He goes in the strip club with like... 10 security guards at all times, right? Not well, to mention uh, whoever else ready to do something for him. People, you know what I'm saying? Come on. They can I'm happen, saying Rick Ross ain't even calling day. and checking. If you're in somebody else's city, it could be that night. It would be 30, 40 cribs outside security. You know what I mean? Let I mean, you saw when Meek Mill got into it with 6 9 They both had fucking off-duty yeah. police officer security with That's them. If, you, no yeah. if you're as wrong. famous as Meek Mill, this, I get this it. Yeah, of course. You need all kinds of shit. You got to be moving militant as fuck. I don't see me going for it. That's my dog. And I, I know that he got a relationship with a couple of cool L.A. dudes that I like. 
and that, you know what I'm saying? To so where it be straight. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to say it like, because right, right, he's right. not even one of your niggas that you could approach with all that. Right, that, right, right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. he's not, he, he actually is a stand-up individual. He's standing on his team. I, I don't know about his gangster career. I'm not, I'm not here for that, but I know him, that he's right, going to be a man. He has a man, he's a man. He's a man. All right, man, we're going to go ahead and slide up out of here. But that's Brick Baby having more words for Loose Cannon. If y'all think Loose Cannon is full of malarkey, y'all let me know, though. Either way it go, like, comment, subscribe for more of this content. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich trapper mafia. Hit that notification bell right there at the top. Hit all. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. News you can use, knowledge you can't get in college. Follow me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R. X, that's Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper, Game 6. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. And my two singles, Start From Scratch and A Nightmare Before Christmas, are both out now. If you're trying to figure out how you can win $100, that's $50 two different ways, go ahead and slide to the beginning of this video. I'll break it down for you. It's easy to understand. Don't worry about it. Uh, with that all being said, though, we go on to the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more of this content. We finna slide and we go, man. Free Avenue Angel until he's free. We out of here.